Hey guys, it's me, Janice. I'm just coming to you with a really quick video. I know it's been a couple of weeks, so um, I got really excited because of some stuff that I just bought yesterday. So I wanted to share that with you guys as, long as, as well as some other stuff too. Um, but for those of you that don't know, which probably is all of you, <laughs> I'm like a Mac collector. I love Mac stuff. Love it, love it, love it. And I started collecting probably like a year ago. Um, so I wanted to show you guys just a few things that I have um, from Mac that I really like. As well as a couple of things that I bought yesterday. Um, I have, uh, like, when I go to Mac, I buy like one or two or three things at a time. So I do have like a collection. But I don't want to show like everything. Because I'm not like one of those people that's like, look at all this expensive stuff I have, you know. Like, especially when there's so many people, like, in the world right now that, you know, they can't afford it. They can't afford food, you know, so it's just not right for me to do that. Um, but, of course, being the Mac lover that I am, I am going to share with you guys just my hardcore, like, stuff that I wear, like, all the time. So, <laughs> the first thing that I wanted to show you guys was my favorite eyeshadow. Out of all the eyeshadows, this is my favorite one. It's called Beauty Mark. And it's lovely. It's like black with purple and, and gold and it's shimmery and um, it's just a really beautiful color. I have to get all my colors in a palette actually. It's a lot easier I think. One day. One day I'll do that. It takes time I guess. And this one is Romp and it's a really neutral kind of bronzy color which I like like to wear to work or something where you just want to look like more natural um, it's a really nice color and copper rain I love it it's like it's an outstanding like copper kind of color and a lot of MAC collectors have this one a lot of them I watch YouTube all the time so <laughs> I get to see like what people like to use and tracks is another famous one so a lot of you watching this might already have these things but they're my favorite so of course you'd have it right <laughs> and my number one thing from Mac that I enjoy I wear every single day I bought it in October 2008 in San Francisco at Saks Fifth Avenue. It's so funny because I have like a story for like all my Mac stuff because everywhere you go you gotta you gotta buy something Mac. If you're in a place where there's Mac you gotta buy something that is Mac. So I know probably like where where and when I bought like everything. It's so funny. <laughs> but yes, this is my favorite thing. It's my blush you guys and it's the love thing. It's the best like blush for my skin hands down. I'm wearing it right now. Like, it's the best. So, yeah, that's it right there. It's a mineralized blush. So, it's just, it's wonderful. I love it. So, yeah. And my fingernail polish that I love is called Steamy. And it's a really nice pink, like, feminine, girly color. It's really, really pretty. Love it. I got that for Christmas. Anybody who knows me knows what to get me for Christmas, right? And, so I wanted to show you my brushes. I don't have a lot, so I'll show you all the brushes that I have. You know, I don't I don't mind showing that. Because I only have four of them, so. Because what, the brushes are really, you know, those, those are hardcore expensive, you know. You can only buy one at a time. And if you don't wear a, a lot of makeup like I don't, then you don't really need a lot of brushes. You just need, like, your core brushes, right? <clears throat> So of course that would mean a 209, which is for eyeliner. And also just another thing you guys, when I, after I buy a brush, I like to put clear fingernail polish on the lettering and the numbers, so that it doesn't fade away. Uh, my sister, she's, she's had MAC like forever, and she has brushes and stuff, and so it, you know, it gets faded, so you want to just put some clear fingernail polish on there so that it always stays. I'm not going to remember the numbers of these brushes years from now so it's good to have it there so you that you can tell people like oh this is a 209 and I use my 209 actually with gel liner um I can't get down with the liquid so I use gel and I use the 
L'Oreal hip, or whatever, H-I-P hip, whatever, it looks like that, so it's pretty cool. Alright, and my very first brush that I ever, ever got, ever, because I was told it's the best starter brush, is the 217, and you know who told me that? Julie G713. She got me in this whole Mac fiasco situation going on here, so... Thanks Julie, thanks Lana too, Lana loves Mac and Mixy Lana is the same person, but she also has really like inspired me on this Mac trip, let me tell you. But the 217, I learned from Julie, she said it's the best starter brush and uh, I have started it all over town, look at, it's like all dirty so I apologize, but it's really good for packing on color, it's the best. And I have a 224, of course. It's for blending. It's the best blender brush that you can ever get, you guys. You have to get the 224, okay? Yes. And I have a 188, okay? This is what I use to put my blush on. A lot of people use a 187. It's bigger. It's the same, but it's a little bigger. And they put their foundation on or, you know, their moisturizer on with it. Um, I don't do that. I don't wear foundation, so, of course, I wouldn't. You know, I wouldn't get like a bigger brush, um, but this is perfect for blush because you can build on the color, color rather than it just going on and being too much, you know. So I love this brush. And on to my new stuff that I got yesterday. Um, okay, so everybody knows Hello Kitty Collection, Hello, is beautiful. So, I was at Nordy's yesterday. Um, aka Nordstrom, <laughs> um, but I was at Nordy's and I got the Pretty Baby Beauty Powder. It's really, really pretty, you guys. I'm wearing it right now, and it just gives you, like, a really, like, fresh-faced finish, and so I really like it. And look at what it looks like, you guys. Like, it has a Hello Kitty on the powder itself, and then it says Hello Kitty, and it's all, like, sparkly with pink sparkles all over it. It's really cute. And then the second thing that I bought was the Two Dolly Eyeshadow Palette. And it's so beautiful. Look at those colors. I love it. And this color right here was the one that made me want to get this palette because it's just so, like, outrageous. And the girl, you know, the cute black girl with the fro in the picture, you know, she has it on. And it just looks really, really pretty. So, of course, I had to get it. So, um, it comes with a mirror in there. And when you close it down... Have Hello Kitty. So, those are just, you know, some things that I have from the MAC collection that I really, really like. Oh, and also, too, I bought this hat yesterday. I'm really into the hats right now, you guys, because it's really good when you do twists and you put your hair in the hat. It, like, protects your hair because, it's like, I don't know about you guys, but around here it's been raining and storming and stuff, windy. So, when I go out, I want my hair to be protected. So, I bought another hat. And it's a really cool, like, gold color. I like it. Um, it's, you know, winter color type feel, so it's pretty. I like it. I got it from City Wear, and I don't really shop at City Wear because I can't really fit the clothes that are in there. And some of the clothes have too much design on them for me, so. But, you know, sometimes they have cute accessories, and I saw this hat, and it was $13.99. It's pretty cute. And, oh, for you guys that are wondering what's going on with my hair right now, um, I did a French braid in the front, and I was so surprised because I didn't even know I knew how to French braid. But I made a little French braid headband, and um, I kind of got the idea from Purse Buzz. <clears throat> she actually did her, her headband, like a braid here and a braid here. But I just did one. I think that's cute enough, you know, fluff your hair out. This is actually a twist out that I did. Um... I did the twist on dry hair. I used Kim products, of course. And, um, you know, I took them out. I had my twist in for four days, and then I took them out, so <sighs> my hair feels really soft and good. Oh, yeah. Speaking of Kim, I ordered the Burdock Root Buttercream, and I got that the other day. Yay for Kim. Love you, Kim. Alright, so that's it, you guys. I hope that um, you guys are having a wonderful weekend. I'm enjoying.